Okay. Kind of weird, you know. They're talking about CDS being put over there. Um, somebody was being nosy when I was talking to someone who was concerned about me. Um, people seems like they're running their mouths. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about, apparently. Um, and I will say this. Because this is bullshit. There's somebody knowing the truth about people trying to hurt me, trying to kill me. There has to be some truth. So, pretty much, if you're running your mouth about CPS and you're blocking me, blocking. Cody, we have nothing to do with Thomas and fucking Daniel Rice. Let's get that one thing clear. Now, it's a problem because I know Thomas Paul was being fucking nosy about what was going on with me. So, no, barking up the wrong tree is that you're not even down here. You don't know nothing about what's going on with me. You're getting your fucking nose into something that you should be staying out of my goddamn business about. Thomas Paul should have stayed out of my business. Daniel Rice should have stayed out of my damn business. Whatever is going on and you're saying lies and bullshit, you, you, ooh, you better not blame me for this shit. Because I had someone talking to me. It was about me. I had nothing to do with CPS. Hey, someone's knocking at your door. Cody. Cody. Someone's really knocking at your door. Huh? Someone's knocking at your door. <clears throat> but like I said, you need to mind your business. But, like I said, I don't know what the fuck people's problem is. Nobody's playing games. And I think it's pretty funny that everything like that. Now, it's pretty comical. People are talking shit up the side of their necks. I've already had Felicia Baz call the cops on me. I got the cops called on me because I went at it with my grandma. Now, all of a sudden on Facebook, I see this. And it's the same fucking day that I was talked to about something important that I was needing to know or something he needed to know no i have nosy motherfuckers that are literally getting their nose up in personal business of mine that should not be there daniel rice thomas paul and i think it's pretty funny that uh people are just talking shit all over again and yeah, there was drugs in the car. Yeah, there was a gun in the car. Somebody's trying to save their fucking asses. And I'm going to tell you one thing, bitch. I don't lie about that shit. So if Daniel Rice and Thomas Paul, and I know Ivy's a part of it, somebody's acting the fuck up. So pretty much, I think it's pretty fucking comical that you guys are talking about CPS at the same time 
I had somebody talking to me. Just like I said, that same day, I had that same guy talking to me. It's pretty kind of comical that this is being shown on Facebook. This has nothing to do with me with that. If C if CPS got called, that's their problem. So uh, I think it's pretty funny that there were drugs being involved that night. And, um, you know, I've already had people taking action upon me. There's already people threatening to call the cops on me because I spoke the truth about something. And plus I got into it with my grandma. So, pretty much, um, I think it's pretty funny that Thomas Paul was purposely going up and down those damn stairs because they think I'm the one that called CPS. I hate to break it to you. I can have proof that I didn't call CPS on you guys. <laughs> it had nothing to do with you, Thomas Paul. And you put your fucking nose in my business. Daniel, you put your nose in my business. And so did Daniel's wife. So, this is why I have a suspicion now there's lies being told upon me again. This had nothing to do with Thomas or Daniel. This had to do with me. So, I suggest Thomas Paul, Daniel Rice... Blocked me on Facebook because they're causing problems. And I know there are people watching my YouTube. And this is bullshit because this is the only time I could think why people are accusing, calling people a liar. But you know what? I'm not in your business. So what the fuck gives Thomas Paul... And Daniel Rice and Ivy Lamb and Daniel's wife, the fucking Rick, get into my business knowing that there's some shit going on and they put their nose into it. And I know where it came from. And, um, like I said, <laughs> you weren't there, but just like I said, I think it's pretty funny that uh, there's just people talking shit, starting shit for no reason. And I better not be the fucking blame because I know a lot of things without being told. Again, I'm very spiritual. So, pretty much, I think it's pretty funny that, uh, at the same time, C, C, whatever the fuck it's called, Child Services, or CPS, whatever the fuck it is, I believe that's what it is. CPS, I think, has to do with Child Services, which I think is bullshit, and no. Let me see, where is it at? But just like I said, people are getting their nose into my business that they should have stayed the fuck out of. Whatever I talked about, whatever I talked about, and all in reality, you know what I mean? Should have been my business. No. I had nosy people, even Thomas Paul, up in my business. So... This is the only reasons why I'm a little bit flipping out is because only somebody who knows this, just because I had someone talking to me and someone had uh, child services over there had nothing to do with them. I can't believe it. Thomas, Paul, and Daniel need to understand, stay the fuck out of my business. This is why I'm getting irritated with people. People just don't stay out of my business. And if you keep saying false information, I hate to tell you this, 
But uh, if you're trying to get involved in my case, Daniel Rice, Thomas Paul, try it. Because they're going to tell you, stay the fuck out of my business. And you're getting your noses into something you're not going to be able to get out of. So I'm just saying though, this is bullshit. This is ridiculous. No, karma's going to be a bitch. Because this is stupid. For one. For two. People wouldn't lie about shit. For three. There has to be some truth to it. Because there's people calling the cops on me. There's people acting up on me. People are wanting to put their hands on me. So, people are being nosy. Like Thomas Paul. Daniel Rice. And they don't give a fuck who's trying to hurt me. So, for what all I can say, I got proof right here that if you're trying to accuse me, Thomas Paul, Ivy Lamb, and Daniel Rice, <laughs> and Daniel's wife, I suggest you better stay the fuck out of my business. And uh, I say the fuck out of yours. Why are you always in a business up in mine? That's what I can't understand. Pretty much, you're being fake people by not staying out of my business. And, for one thing, people are only fake who does not stick up for someone. There's people, and you know what? I have a strong feeling Daniel Rice and Thomas Paul is a part of trying to get me hurt on the down low with uh, Joseph Beadle. I have that hard feeling because uh, something's not right if you're going to be sitting there going off about all of a sudden CCPS being there. I believe Child Protective Services, I believe. Thomas Paul and Daniel Rice and his fucking wife better stay the fuck out of my business. Because there's already way too much going on because Daniel Rice does not give a fuck who hurts me. I bet you if my boyfriend was not with me, Daniel Rice was going to let Joseph Beetle beat the fuck out of me. So therefore, I just think it's funny that people blocked me and don't want to have anything to do with me is because me and Cody mentioned about guns and drugs and a car one night. And why are you mentioning it? How do you know about it? Proof of caught. Somebody opened their fucking mouth about it. They're pissed because they got caught. Because me and Cody have been right. So if, so if it wasn't true. How do you know about the guns being in a car? And how do you know about the drugs being in the car? How would you know that? How can you speak upon it if you didn't know? You do because it came from a horse's mouth. That's why I'm saying though. People are getting themselves into something. That it's the truth. And there's people acting up. Because they're getting caught. They're getting caught. And I know for a fact. Nobody has anything to do with me. Not even Thomas, not even Daniel, and not even Joseph. So you guys are acting very suspicious because of what I talked about. It was about me. It had nothing to do with you. Why are you guys nosy into if something's going on with me? What, so you can go around town warning people that I talked to someone that's trying to help me? Trying to make sure of my safety that I'm okay. You guys are fucked up. Now that makes me suspicion you're a part of it as well. Because you're the guys have a tendency to run your fucking mouths around town as well. You do. So pretty much it's already going around town. People are speaking. Because I found out the truth. And that's what I'm saying though right here. Where is it at? Something about guns and drugs. How would she know that? It had to come from a horse's mouth. So pretty much like I said. Stay out of my business. Child Protective Services wasn't called 
because of me. Mine is a different scenario. Like I said, please stay out of my business. People are watching my YouTube and I am giving out names. So I suggest stop acting like you're a part in something because I will suspicion that you are a part of trying to get me killed, raped, or trying to give me a sex disease or trying to make me a prostitute. I suggest you people better watch your fucking selves because you're making me over the edge. Hey, Cody, look at that. Cody, Cody. Cody, hey. But other than that, just like I said, okay, can, can you please explain to me how, how does she know about the guns and the drugs? She's saying it's not true. Come on. She, she had to have known something. Am I right? Yeah. And she says something about somebody's boyfriend's got a warrant out for him. You're not hiding out. I have no clue what that's about, but, but like I said, I try to make it sound like I'm a bad guy. but you're not a bad person. You've been helping me. You have been giving me the truth, but I'm going to go in and get off of here. But just like I said, people are false information. You think you're playing like you think I'm playing a dangerous game. No, 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 bitch. No, 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 no. It's Thomas Paul. Daniel Rice is playing a dangerous game because I got a fucked up feeling they're a part of it with Joseph Beadle with everybody else around town. So just like I said, I know who's involved and this is nothing new. But like I said, I know the truth. I know things without being told. This is, this is nothing but a fake ass post talking shit of trying to cover a husband's ass so he don't get in trouble plus of trying to stick up for a friend mm -hmm. who knows the truth don't be covering somebody's ass if they're out trying to fucking hurt me trying to get me killed trying to give me a sex disease or trying to make me a prostitute don't you ever ever try to hide Somebody that's trying to do a criminal charge mm -hmm. to me. I'm going to go and get off of here. Like I said, Daniel Rice and his wife. Like I said, I don't appreciate. Because she's mentioning things that I've talked about. And all of a sudden it's getting back. Is because of Daniel Rice and Thomas Paul and Ivy Lamb, pretty much. So, like I said, I'm going to go and get off of here. But don't you ever stick up for a murderer. Don't you ever stick up. Don't you ever, ever try to cover someone's ass. Because if you do that, bitch, you're an accomplice. Have a nice day.